So I want to take a second to go over a couple things that might be helpful when considering backing up or at least um, in this case getting documents prepared to transfer to a new computer. So the first place we're going to go is we're going to click on this little guy down here. He's our finder um, on the Windows machine. You might call that the My Computer area. Um, and this is kind of where we can access our file system. So this is like opening the filing cabinet. And once we look in the filing cabinet, there are a couple ways that we can organize our information. We can look at them in these kind of tiles. This is all the stuff on my computer in tiles, and you kind of move from left to right through the folders to see what they look like. Um, you can look at it in a list format like this. You can go up and down and look at it. You can look at it, this is my preferred method, is that you can see, like so let's say I want to see what's in this folder, and then I can see what's in this folder, and each time along the way you can go through and see um, what's in each folder, or you can look at it in this way. So it kind of gives you a thumbnail or a photo icon up at the top of each of the items below as you're looking at them. Then the next thing, I'm going to switch it back to my preferred method of looking at uh, files. So let's look over here in this left side is basically all the places where I save. Now you ultimately know where you save your things and you can tell um, probably better than I can where things have gone. But for the most part, most of your things are going to go into the documents area. Um, applications are your programs, you don't need to worry about that. If you're a desktop saver, you might have a whole bunch of stuff on your desktop. This would be a great time to go through those things and delete what you don't need, put what you want to keep into folders, and then drag it over to your to your documents area. If you uh, keep things in your downloads, I usually try to keep my downloads cleaned out. Once I get it downloaded, I move it to the to the filing cabinet wherever I need it instead of just leaving it here. Um, you may have some movies, you might have some music, um, you can leave those things right where they are, and you might have some pictures, you could leave those as well. So we're going to really focus most of our attention here on documents. So if you have some things in your on your computer, let's say I have these things on my desktop, and I want to move them into my documents area. Really it's as simple as you can draw a square around them, and you can notice these three have all been highlighted blue now. I can take that and drag that over into this documents area and now you can see that those three things have been added. I really want to keep those on my desktop so I'm just going to move them back here real fast. Um, if there are other documents around that I want to move or maybe I've put everything in here and I want to create a new folder, you'll click on the little gear up at the top and you'll say new folder and it will give you an untitled folder. If you click on the name of the title you can say my folder, whatever you want to call it, or maybe you want to call this math or something like that. Now you have a math folder, you can begin dragging things over to your math folder. So maybe I want to bring this book over and put it in the math folder. So inside of my math folder is this book here that I was working on. Okay, so those are just some kind of basics to file management um, on your Mac. Just make sure you notice how you're viewing your folders and kind of think of it as a big filing cabinet. If you were putting things in a filing cabinet, you would probably create folders to help keep things organized instead of throwing everything into the filing cabinet. So you kind of want to do the same thing on your computer. Once you go into the filing cabinet here, which is your finder, you want to start making some, some logical uh, folders that you would use to uh, keep track of those documents and items that you have. So I hope that helps. Thank you.